This video will demonstrate starting a previous SpecView configuration in version 3. Start SpecView by double-clicking the icon. Since this is the first time version 3 has been run, there is no default project selected. Click Select Create Project. When SpecView version 3 was installed, one or more version 2 configurations may have been copied into version 3 during the installation process. Configuration folders from the version 2 folder can also be copied into the SV3 folder using Windows Explorer. The third way to get version 2 configurations into version 3 is to restore a previously archived configuration. Note that these configurations, now called projects, are shown in the list in blue. Also note that the project list now supports a standard tree structure. Demonstration projects are grouped together in a demos folder. Select the project to run and click go online. When a version 2 project is opened for the first time in version 3, an archive of the project is automatically created. Click OK to go online to your project. At first, the project will appear exactly the same as it did in version 2. In runtime, the main differences in version 3 are the trend charts. With no action taken, the charts are as before. To take advantage of the version 3 chart features, they must be converted to the new format. To do this, click the Setup button. There are three choices offered. The default is to convert the chart using the current default styles. If you have not previously selected your own default settings, the ones from SpecView use a black chart with light coloured pens. Most users feel this gives the clearest distinction between the traces. Experienced version 2 users will know that this was a problem when printing the chart and that was why the version 2 default chart colour was white. However, in version 3 there is an option to have the chart print as a white background no matter what is selected for the on-screen colour. To retain the same chart and pen colours as in version 2, choose one of the other options. The middle one keeps the chart and pen colours the same, but uses the other appearance features of the new charts. The bottom option keeps the appearance and operation of the chart as close as possible to version 2. Click OK to convert the chart. The Chart Properties dialog box is displayed and we will just accept the default values by clicking OK. To edit the chart, click anywhere and select Setup Chart. The various options are available under each tab. For example, to add more scales, click the Pen Scales tab. Select the scales you want at either end. Other videos describe the setup of the chart features in detail. No other actions are required to use your project in version 3. If you are moving a configuration or project from one PC to another, please see video 1005 copying projects.